Good afternoon, brothers and sisters, mommy and daddies. Good afternoon, people of God. I just want to thank God for making us to see today. It's not by our power, it's not by our mind. We give her the glory, we give her the honor. To oh Lord, my Father, King of glory, we thank you. Take all the glory, Lord. We thank you for our life. We thank you for making us to see today. We thank you for this beautiful morning, this lovely morning. We give all the glory. We give all the honor. For the bridge of life, Father, we are worshiping. We give all the we thank you because you are faithful. There's no one like you, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Our Father is so faithful. Our Lord Jesus Christ is so good. He's so good. He's so good. Awesome God. Awesome God. Awesome God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Brothers and sisters, mommy and daddies. I just want to thank God. I just want to give a word of encouragement. I want to say a word of God. This is the time. I want to say this is the time for us to prepare. This is the time. We are at the end time. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming. The Lord is coming. The Lord, the Lord is coming. Look at what is going on on this earth now. This earth is not going to be a normal as, as it is before. Because we are at the end time. We are at the end time. The world is going on wickedness. It's a squeeze of wickedness. So let us repent. Let us repent of our sin, of our iniquity, of our way. Let us repent and come to Jesus. Jesus Christ is the holy way. He is the truth. He is the light. He is the life. According to John 14, verse 6, our God is the holy way, the truth, and the life. Without Lord Jesus Christ, you cannot see the Father. You cannot see the Father. Let us repent for our sin. Let us stay away from sin. Our Lord Jesus Christ, the problem that we have with Him is our sin. We dwell in iniquity. We live in iniquity. What shall we gain? What shall we profit us to gain the whole world and lose our soul? You will gain everything on this head. And at the, at the end, you will go to hell. That is not our portion. The Lord did not create the hell for us. He made us that we should. He came, for, he came to die for us so that we can be able to stay away from sin. We shall be able to stay away from sin. Now that we are committing sin, the, the sin is increasing. The sin of this earth is increasing. It just means that the Lord Jesus Christ came to die for nothing. No, He came to save us from sin. He did not come to us to dwell in sin. He came to save humanity, to live in sin, so that we can be perfect, so that we can make heaven. Because He's seen that the world is going to, if it do not come to die for us, every one of us will go to hell. So God did not want us to go to hell. That is that's why he sent his beloved son. The Lord Jesus Christ to come and set us free from sin. To come and die for us. To come and make us to be free from iniquity. Iniquity, let us run from sin. Let us repent. Let us come to Lord Jesus Christ. We are still beating him. We are still putting him in pain. We are still making him to cry more upon all what he has done for us in the cross of Calvary. Upon all the blood of the blood that he shed for us in the cross of Calvary. We are still putting him, putting him more in sin. The Lord Jesus Christ himself is evangelizing. He is telling to people that we should prepare. This is the time for us to prepare. Repent. Jesus is coming. Repent. Let us repent. Let us run away from our sin. Hell is real. Hell is real. Hell is not a place of joking. Hell is not a place to joke with your Don't joke with your life. Don't joke with your life. Eternity is there. Hell is there. Brothers and sisters, mommies and daddies over the whole world. world. Wherever you are, you are hearing my voice. I'm coming to, I'm just telling you, the Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. Our wickedness is too increasing. Our wickedness is too increasing. Please let us repent. Please let us stay away from sin. What are you going to gain? What are you going to gain? What are you going to gain for this sin, for this iniquity that you are committing? It's wrong. It's wrong. Let us hate what God hates. Let us hate what God hates. I want to talk about the topic of today, the consequences of sin. The consequences. You know the consequences. The repercussion of it. The nemesis of sin. The causes of sin. What will, what will cost you? What will be the payment? Because it's, a, it's, it's paid back. Yes. Because you refuse to obey the word of God. We refuse to put attentively. We refuse to respect the Lord Jesus Christ. What he asks us to do. We are dwelling in sin. We are doing what? Killing. Committing different things that is not pleasing him. The world is going deeper in sin. Going deeper in wickedness. The consequences of sin is the lake of fire. Of everything you have gained in this world. At the end as you die as a sinner. You are going to hell. Hell, you are going to a lake of fire. Hell is sweet. This is the word of God. This is not the word of man. Hell is sweet. So the, 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 the consequences of hell is the, the consequences of sin, I mean to say, is hellfire. 
is earth fire, lake of fire. Lake of fire is made for the devil. The devil is deceiving you, is deceiving the children of God. Not to focus, not to obey the Lord, not to obey the word of God. Because he know what is the repercussion. He know the consequences of sin. That is why the devil is trying to bring you to himself. So that you can join him in the in, in, in lake of fire. The consequences of sin, the result is the lake of fire. Your soul will be living in eternity, in pain, in agony. You will be dwelling in pain. So, mommies and daddy, brothers and sisters, that is not your portion. The Lord loves us so much. Our God is so faithful. That is why he came for to die for us, so that we cannot go there. That place is not made for us. That place is made for the devil. That air is made for the devil. That lake of fire that is prepared, he prepared it for the devil, for him to go there and his agent. But the devil is deceiving the children of God. He deceiving us that you don't even know what to do. You are committing sin. You are living a life that, that you don't you don't I don't care life. This is your world. Which world? This world belongs to God. You are the one that created the heaven and earth. The world, the earth, now this earth, now the devil is the one that is ruling in. He is the prince of the earth. He is the evil one. He is the one that is living in the earth. He's trying to children. People are going. People are dying. The Lord Jesus Christ is, is weeping. He's evangelizing. Let us repent. Repentance is the way. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Jesus loves you. The Lord came to give us grace. What is grace? It's grace for us to struggle, to live, to live the sin. The grace of God is for us to stay away from sin. It's for us to stay away from sin. Not for us to commit sin. Not for us to live in sin. It's for us to know, yes, this is what we are doing. It's not right. The mercy of God and the grace of God is for you to, to, to stay away from sin. Not for you to continue in living in sin. No. The Lord did not give us, give us the grace to continue in sin. The grace is for us to you to free from sin. For me to free from sin. But you have what to free from sin. Repent. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Look at the consequences of sin. It's according to Romans chapter 6. Romans chapter 6. I want to read this verse, please. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. It says, For the wages of sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. You see, he said, The wages of sin is dead. Yes, the wages of sin is dead. If you are living in sin, you are dead. You are dead spiritually. You are dead spiritually because your soul is already dead. You are taking your soul to, 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 to hell. You are dead. You are dead. Spiritually, physically, you can live your life you want to live here. But your spiritual, your soul matter. Your body does not matter. Your body, you cannot take your body to heaven. You are going to leave your body in, 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 in earth, in grave. If you are still alive, if you are not still alive, your body is going to remain in grave. But your soul matter. Your soul matter. That your soul is dead. That is what this, 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 this verse is telling. It says, for the wages of sin is dead. If you are living in sin, brothers and sisters, mommy and daddy, please stay away from sin. Run from sin. Because you say the wages of sin is dead. Your spiritual life, your, your, your soul, you are dead spiritually. You are dead spiritually. But the Lord Jesus Christ came to, to give us eternal life. He said he came through, through the Lord Jesus Christ. You will have eternal life. You will have a life that will make you to have peace. To live an everlasting life. Everlasting, you will go to heaven. Because Jesus Christ came to set you from sin. To deliver you from sin. To set you for every captivity that the enemy have kept you. So the light, that is why he came to die for us. Yes. That is why he came to die for us. That is why he came to set us free. Only through Jesus Christ you can make heaven. Through the Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ, there is no way you can seek the Father. Any religion that don't believe in Jesus Christ is they are working on damnation. They are ways, they are, their soul is already dead. Just because the Lord Jesus Christ, he is the way. He is the truth and the life. According to John 46, he said, Our God is the way. Without the Lord Jesus Christ, you cannot see the Father. So you cannot be going to church anyway. You don't believe in Christ. You don't believe in Jesus Christ. You say you are going to heaven. No, no heaven for you. Repent for your sin, brothers and sisters. I'm begging, please, let us repent for our sin. The Lord is coming. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming. The Lord is warning us to stay away from sin. The Lord is telling us to run from sin. Because sin, it will lead us to eternity. Sin, it will destroy. Sin is an enmity to God. Pray that God should separate you from sin. God should make you an enmity between you and sin. The way God did serpent and serpent and human will be enmity. Pray that prayer to God that God should separate you from sin. 
C is a poison. C key. And C is going to destroy. That is what the Bible says. For the wages of sin is dead. Mommy and daddy, brothers and, brothers and sisters, whatever you are doing that is not pleasing God, stay away from sin. Stay away from fornication. Stay away from adultery. Stay away from killing. Stay away from stealing. Stay away from worldly things, worldliness. What shall it profit you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? Your soul matter to Lord Jesus Christ. Your soul matter to the Father. Your soul matter to God, not your body. Live a life that will please it. Try to live a life that will please it. Study your Bible. Have a good relationship with God. Ask God to help you. It is not by your power. It is the grace of God. That is why the grace is here. The grace of God is here to make us to live from sin. To not to dwell in sin because sin is enmity to God. That is the, the separation that God and the problem that God has between him and the humanity. We dwell in sin. He don't lack sin. Our God is so holy. His standard is holiness. Anything that is not right, anything that is sin, you cannot stay with God. And remember, our God is so holy. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 says, follow peace with all men. Without holiness, you cannot see, holiness, you cannot see the Father. The Father is holy. The standard is holy. How can you go and uh, go to heaven with your fornication? How can you go to heaven with your worldly, worldly dressing? How can you go to heaven with your nakedness? You are going to church in the street. You are naked. You are going to heaven. You say it does not matter. Brothers and sisters, it matters a lot. All those things that you are saying that is not matter, that is not matter. That is what it matters a lot. That is what we destroy and we lead you to the eternity. To the lake of fire. Lake of fire. Air is we. Don't play with hair. Don't play with your soul. Some people say Jesus Christ is love. Yes, it's love. Remember the, 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 the Sodom and Gomorrah, the, the, day, the day of Noah. He destroyed them. Remember, Hebrews chapter 12, verse. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. Tell our God is a consuming fire. It's a consuming fire. It's a merciful God. But it's anger against sin. Against wickedness, humanity are lying on wickedness. They are dwelling on wickedness. They are going around. They are, they, they are great. The growth of the wickedness of this earth is so high that myself, I imagine what is going on. Upon all the preaching, they don't care to listen. Continue to dwell in sin. You better run for sin. Better submit your life to Lord Jesus Christ. Give your life to Him. Repent. Repent. Repent, the Lord is coming. Submit your life to Lord Jesus Christ. He will help you. He's the only one that will deliver you from sin. Stay away from sin. It's not too late now. You can still repent. No matter what you have done, come to Jesus. Accept him as your Lord, as your personal Savior. He will set you free. He will deliver you from sin. God is ready to take you back. Because as you are on this head now, our God is our lawyer. He's fighting for us. He's making us to stay away from sin. He's speaking to us. He's evangelizing. He's telling people, please repent. The, you know, he's making, he's trying to bring his children back. The way, our, the way of the God is the will of God. God did not want us to perish. He's still patient. He's still patient for us so that he can, he, we can repent. He's still patient. That is why he has not come. Because he wants us, all of us to repent. He wants us to repent. That is why he, he has not come. That is why he has not come. It's a patience God. It's a patience God. Mommy and daddy, brothers and sisters, wherever you are still doing it, stay away from it. Stay away from it. It's what God is. Stay away from sin. Sin is a very dangerous thing that will take your soul to hell. That will damage your soul. That will damage your soul. That will damage your soul. Your soul matter. Your soul matter to God. Remember, God breathes on you. Yeah, that is why you are not a living soul. Because of that soul matter, you don't want you to die. What shall you profit? You get the whole world. You get everything, but you don't save your soul. You don't even care about your soul. You care about your body, your physical body. You are committing sin. You are enjoying. You are having the favorite thing. You are having. I don't say other things is no good. It's good. But seek first the kingdom of God. Put God first in everything you do. Seek it first. He is the first. Put him first in anything you do in this world. After, after 
of God, let the other thing be added. That is why it says, seek first the kingdom of God, and every other shall be, every other thing shall be added. It shall be added unto you, brothers and sisters. Mommy and daddy, what shall you profit us to lose our soul? Our Lord did not want us to come to hell. He wants us to repent. He wants us to stay away from sin. Whatsoever that is still leading you to sin, stop it now. Stop it now. If you are going to church, a church that does preach repentance and salvation, please don't be deceived. Study your Bible by yourself. Read, talk to God, speak to God, to have good relationship with you one on one. Our God speak, our God is alive. He talk. Don't be deceived. Don't be carried away from the things of the world. Don't be carried away from the prophet, the pastors, the prophet that don't preach salvation. They don't preach salvation to you. They don't, they don't want your soul to be saved. That is why they don't preach salvation. They know the truth. They know. They know most of them have they, they have just make they have give their they have, they, have, they have give their life to the devil. They have make agreement with the devil. They join the devil to, to walk against God, to fight against God, to take more people, to take the children of God to, to, to join their self. That is why they don't preach salvation and, 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 and repentance. Any children that don't preach salvation and repentance, stay away from it. Stay away from it. Stay. They preach every other thing, but salvation and repentance, they don't preach it. Jesus Christ came to die. Jesus Christ was on this earth. He was preaching repent. Beloved John was preaching the repent. Hell is real. Hell is real. The kingdom of God is at hand. But Paul was still preaching the same thing. All the disciples of Jesus Christ were preaching repentance and salvation. But today, most men of God, they don't preach repentance and salvation. They talk about earthly thing. Earthly thing. You have this, you have this, you have this. Yes, it's good, but put God first. Preach salvation and repentance to your members so that they can wait to stay away from sin. Most of them did not know. They don't know what is sin. They don't know what is sin. They don't know. So, sisters and brothers, mommy and daddy, if you are in the church, they don't preach salvation. Run away from it. Run away from it. Run away from it. Because they don't know, want you to be saved. They don't want you to be saved. They want you to join them. They want you to join them. Remember this uh, in, in Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 20. He said, The soul that sin shall die. You see, the Lord said, the soul that sin, they shall die. He said, the soul that sin, they shall die. You see, the soul that sin, anyone that sin shall die. He shall die, he shall go to hell. He will not see God. He will not make heaven. He will not make heaven. He will not see God. Nothing. So, better repent. Repent and stay away from sin. The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. Our Maker is coming. The King of Kings is coming. Jesus Christ is coming. Oh Lord, brothers and sisters, mommies and daddy, I beg you, please repent. Please repent. Stay away from sin. The consequences of sin. That is what I'm talking about. The, the consequences, the repercussion, the nemesis of sin. The nemesis of sin. Save your soul. Save your soul. Save your soul before it's too late. You don't know what the trumpet will sound. The word of God said the Lord will come as a thief. You don't know who death. Death is coming. You don't give information. Nobody knows when, what will happen in second minute. It's only God that knows everything. You see people that die in last year in coronavirus. Every day people are dying. They did not prepare for it. Because the Bible says, the Bible, the Bible makes us to know that after judgment, after death is judgment. He said after judgment is after death is judgment. When you die, judgment will take place. The way you live on this earth will, will determine where you are going to. Yes. You know. Because the word of God says if you are living in sin, you will not see the Father. You will not make heaven. The way you live on this earth will tell you that ah, the way I'm living, I don't think I will go to heaven. I don't think. Then you change your way. The way you live on this earth, when you die, that's how you are going to take place. You are going to hell. Hell is a place that is hot. Live a life that will please God. Pray for the grace. Ask for the grace of God so that you can go to set free from sin. The way you go to live on this earth, you live a life that don't care. Don't let your, don't let your treasure be on earthly things. Let your treasure be on heavenly things. Every, every race. Take a bath. Your eternity. You will spend 100 years here. Enjoying everything, you are going to leave it and die. After you die, you, do, you don't you don't you don't live a life that will please God. You are going to hell. Hell fire. You stay eternity there. We will you you will live in agony, pain, crying, weeping. People are there weeping, crying. That if I wish they have opportunity to come, they should have come. But there's no opportunity. When you enter there, you cannot come back. That place is not a place that you will go. You will come back. You cannot die and come back. This now you have to stay alive. You have opportunity to repent. Mommy and daddy, 
Brothers and sisters, you have opportunity to repent. The life you still live now, you have opportunity. We thank God that you are still living. We thank God that you are still living now. We have to change. Let us change. Let us change our way. Let us please God. Don't let us put more pain. We are putting pain on him more and more. We are causing him to be weeping. What will he gain? All those things that you have on this earth, it's, no, not, it's good. But your soul, put it first. Put your soul first. That's what pain God. People that are going to hell, the Lord is crying. He's paining him. I wish, it's, according to Ezekiel, he said, he said it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not happy. Do you, do you think that it's happy that people are dying? No, he said it's not happy. He said he wants them to repent. He wants them to repent. You see, lovely father. He said he wants them to repent. He wants us to repent. He said it's not happy that people are dying. Are going, hey, it's we. Oh, my father. Please, brothers and sisters, mommy and daddies, let us repent. Oh, all of us, we need to, we need to, we need to amend our way. We need to think. We need to, we need to think about our life, about our soul. Not everything on this earth, 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 me, 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 me. What about God? I got, what about, he created, God, the reason why God created us to this earth is for us to worship him, to praise him, to live for him, and we make heaven. That is why he brings us to this earth. He did not bring us to the earth to, come, to continue to sin against him, to continue to punish him, to continue to put him in pain. He sent his beloved son, he begot his be, 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 be son to come and die for our Lord Jesus Christ. He stays, he came, for us to worship, for us to honor him, for us to give him the glory. For us to do is we for us to be obedient, to obey his word, to obey his word, to live for him. Vanity upon vanity, zero of vanities upon vanity. What will you gain? What will you gain? Nothing. Better save your soul. You better suffer here and at the end you make heaven. It's better that you enjoy everything on this earth and lose your soul. Look at this. Look, let me read Mark, Mark chapter. Mark chapter 9, verse, verse 43. He said, And if the hand offended, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter into love. Mammy, that have two hands to go into a, into the fire that never shall be quenched. You see, he said, It's better for you. Anything that will cost you not to, not, not, not to go to heaven, that will cost you not to go to heaven. He said, Cut it. If it's your hand, cut it. It's a parable. If it's your, if it is a sin, and if it's a sin, anything that you know, you know, you know what you know yourself, you know what you are committing, you know the sin that you are committing, that will make you to go to hellfire, that will make you not to make, that will make you to go to hellfire. You say you should cut it off, stay away from it. He said because hell is a place that fire did not quench. He said fire never, never, never quench. It's hot, agony, pain. So whatever you are doing, you know that sin that you are doing. I know what I'm doing. That you know that it's not pleasing God. That you know that we take it to her. The word of God is telling you to stay away from it. If it's your, it is your hand, cut it. If it is your leg, cut it. Whatever it is it, that is making you not to please God, stay away from it. Repent from sin. Repent from your sin. Jesus Christ is coming. Salvation. He came to give us salvation. He came to save us. Salvation means to save, to save, to save us. It did not come to condemn her. He came for the sinners. Not for the righteous. We are sinners. But it's mercy. Find us today. Find me. That I'm, I'm talking here. I was a sinner. But it's mercy and grace. You find, you find me. Not because I deserve it. That is his mercy. But God will have mercy. He said according to his word. Romans chapter 9 verse 15. He said I will have mercy. Only we have mercy. So I pray that God mercy will locate you. I pray for the grace of God will locate you so that you can be able to be saved. Without the mercy of God, you cannot be saved. But it depends the way you live your life. You live a life that will please him. And God Almighty will bring you back to himself. He is the one that restores you. Live a life that will please him. Not a life that will make him to, 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 to God never hates you, maybe. Never. It's the sin that he hates. That is the problem we have. Look at it again. He said, let me be for the first. He said, where the worm died not. The worm is dead. You say it died not. The worm in the head died not. And the fire is quenched not. You see, the worm there will be eating you. They don't, they don't die. The fire, they don't quench. That is the consequence. The consequence is a hair fire. The place that fire did not quench. The place fire did not off. The place worm did not die. This is the word of God. This is not my word. The Bible. Mark chapter 9, 
you just distribute it from 52 to 50, you will see that Lord said, this is the consequence, the cause of sin, yes, the consequences of sin is lack of fire. This is the word of God. Repent and give your life to Jesus. Repent and come to Jesus. God is going to save you. God is ready to take you back. Don't be deceived. Don't be carried away from the things of the world. The things of the world, what shall he give? He will not give you anything. You will not, you, 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 even, it will only destroy you. It will, you to, it will put you in pains, but nothing that will give you. I pray that Almighty God will make us to know what we are doing, to repent for our sin. I pray the grace of God, the mercy of God will locate, will locate you and locate anyone that is still living in sin in the name of Jesus. Only God can save. Without the Lord Jesus Christ, you cannot be saved. No man, don't be deceived by anybody. Study your word. Read the word of God. Practice it. Put it in practice. After you read it, as you pray for God to give you the grace to understand. To understand what he's saying. People don't be deceived. They're telling you, like, hey, you can be gracious. You can be saved by grace. and um, Forever saved. Uh, ever saved. The way they are saying it. No. Grace is for you to stay away from sin. Remember, grace is for you to stay away from sin. You have to live a life that will please God. A true life that will please, please God. If you are still, if you are was, if you were a Christian before you burst life, there's not too late. You are still alive. Go back to the Lord Matthew. Pray that God should bring you back. Pray that God should bring you back to Him. He is the one that said, God is the only way. Don't let the things of the world deceive you. Remember the word of God says, Second First John chapter two verse sixteen, say for sixteen to seventeen. He said, for all the things, the things in the world, the world, the lust of the flesh. That is the problem. Lust of the flesh. And the lust of eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. You see, those anybody that loves the things of the world, the love of the Father is not in them because they are carried away of the things of the world, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. That is the thing that kills men. That is the thing that kills human beings. We human beings, the things of the world. You better stay away from the things of the world. If you are living in the things of the world, there's no way you can please God. No. Verse 17, he said, say, and the world passeth away, and the lost therefore, but he that does he that does the will of God abide forever. He said, you, he that do the, the, the will of God will abide, will live forever. We abide forever, but not the things of this world. The things of this world is, 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 is just for short time. For short time. So please, brother and sister, let us...